my favorite part of the day. You guys know, if you've been here before, I talk about this being my favorite segment, the 360 with the C-suite. This is where we get to spend 360 seconds or six minutes with a prominent C-suite executive in the region. And today, I am very pleased to welcome Candice Brackeen to the stage, founder and CEO of Lightship Foundation. As she joins us on the stage, I'll give you a brief bio and then we can applaud for her. Uh, Candice founded Lightship Capital in 2017. She is a graduate of the University of Cincinnati where she earned a degree in economics. In 2017, Candace founded the Lightship Foundation and has spent the last five and a half years building that organization to serve underrepresented entrepreneurs and ecosystems. One year after Lightship Foundation came online, she founded Lightship Capital to drive innovation and investment led by women, people of color, and other underrepresented people in the Midwest. And most recently, Candace and Lightship Foundation made news with the acquisition of Black Tech Week that we'll talk about here momentarily. But please mark your calendars for July 18th to the 23rd. Candace, thanks for joining us. No, where do you want me? Where are you? <laughs> Wherever you would like. Are we good? I think so. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. Especially in this lovely weather. Perfect. Okay, um, so tell us where you grew up and what led you to the University of Cincinnati. Oh, I grew up in Toledo um, and was looking for a place that was similar to San Francisco, so I landed here. It's got lots of hills and um, <laughs> water features. Water features, yeah, it works out. Yeah, so I moved here in 97 to go to UC. Wonderful. And you've stayed here ever since? Yeah, I had a small gap in time where I was a flight attendant for Delta Airlines. Yeah, I know. I've got the motion. <laughs> well, let's talk about Lightship Foundation and Lightship Capital. They seem to have taken shape through a cell phone app that you developed. Can you give us a little bit more insight on that? Yeah, back in 14, I got a crazy idea to launch an app for um, parents after one of my children had gone out on a really funky play date. Um, I got there, and my kindergarten was play, play, playing Call of Duty. Um, and I realized that I had not set expectations. And so after I left, I um, tried to get into a couple of local accelerators um, and just couldn't find my place. Uh, finally got into Uptech in Northern Kentucky. Um, and from there was able to raise uh, venture capital and angel capital investments from some folks there um, at Kinetic Ventures. Um, but then as we ran out of money, um, there was a study that came out called Project Diane uh, that talks about less than 1% of venture capital going to a black-led company. Um, and at the time, I was one of the first 88 black women who had ever raised any venture capital and realized that I wanted to fix that issue for here in Cincinnati. Um, and so then I got together with my co-founder, Nahani Jones. We decided to launch uh, what was then called Hillman Accelerator with a pilot class of three. Those three companies are doing actually still quite well. Uh, within 60 days of the launch, they had raised $2.2 million in venture um, and one is really, really doing well. It's called Solo Funds, a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform that helps you give small dollar loans um, to your peers. So, yeah. All through, a found, all through a Call of Duty, right? <laughs> all through Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So talk to us. Lightship Capital serves companies across the country, but you seem to have a particular focus on Ohio and the Midwest. Why is that? Um, there's plenty of great opportunity here, right? And so, um, Intelligence is distributed equitably, but opportunity isn't. I think that's true not only in the Midwest, um, but it's true, true amongst the remarkable founders that we, we support. Um, most venture capital goes to San Francisco, New York, and Boston. And so for me, I'm just attacking a market failure. Um, the market has failed our area. The market has also failed the demographic of people that we serve. So just really going back to my economics background and saying, okay, like, how do I find a niche? And that no one is, is working on. For me, I'm able to find companies at a really great valuation, invest in them there, spend time and help them grow and thrive, and then kind of drive them up um, toward a higher valuation. And we're, we're seeing that, if I look at my peers who have um, invested at inflated valuations, they in this moment are struggling to figure out what they're going to do because they're gonna see a lot of down rounds. Um, and I'm not going to see that. Um, my, our portfolio is, is tracking quite well um, in this kind of current state of affairs. Do you find, I'm going off script here, but do you find that some of the companies that you're working with want to stay in this region as well? Yeah, I mean, we moved one of our first companies from, um, from Louisville to Cincinnati not too long ago, um, which was really exciting. It, it was a really a strategic reason to move a, a dentistry company closer to a company that 
provides great oral care products. Um, and so, yeah, that people are interested in being able to liaise in some way with the corporations that are here. We also have just amazing talent, not only coming out of the universities, but coming out of some of the big corporations. And so for us, our portfolio and really more of our focus, even at the foundation side, is in CPG, e-commerce, sustainability, artificial intelligence, and healthcare. Things that we do really well here in the center of the country. Absolutely, things that we're recruiting in as well. So that's, that's right. right. Uh, so not too long ago, I read that Lightship helped over 200 companies secure more than $120 million in venture funding. Um, is there a company story that stands out to you that really validates why you do this? I'm going to update that number because that is um, lower than what it is, which so that's it. Thank you for I'm going to update my website. So what's the second part of that question? Just a company that stands out in your mind that really kind of validates why you're doing what you're doing. Oh, um, yeah. My, my personal... You can't have a favorite baby, um, but this one for me is. So this is a young lady um, named Dr. Amy Beckley. Um, she had seven miscarriages. I met her on a stage in San Francisco with the J.P. Morgan Biotech Showcase. At the time, I had not made any healthcare investments, and I went to just listen to as many pitches as possible to refine and hone my own skill. And so she gets up on stage, and she talks about this thing that she's built. Uh, which is a urine diagnostic test, so a little pee strip, that you can check your, your progesterone levels. Um, there are four hormones necessary to achieve and maintain a pregnancy. Progesterone is one of them. She came up with a way to take a pee strip at home and figure out if you could hold a baby in. The company's original name was called MFB Fertility for My Effing Basement. And <laughs> she has built an amazing company. We were her first investor. And I said, you know, there's this company in my town that works on fertility and pregnancy. Maybe they could work with you. She won one of the first PNG innovation challenges um, and still works with them today. She just recently uh, closed her Series A with Quest Diagnostics. Um, and there are thousands of proved babies that have been born um, since she started. And that's exactly, exactly why you do what you do. Exactly why. Is it still my MFB? Prove, <laughs> prove, P R O O V, prove progesterone ovulation. Yeah, it's probably a little bit easier to explain. Though. Yeah, it had a horrible logo. We brought her here. We're way better at brand than most guys. Well, let's talk about Black Tech Week. Talk about how that came to fruition with Lightship Foundation to acquire it, and why you're so excited to have it here in Cincinnati. Back in 2015, uh, Dave Knox, JB Crop. Um, and the other co-founder, and sorry, when I'm on stage, I sometimes forget things. Um, Rob. Rob McDonald, I know better. Um, invited some uh, black founders to speak to them. And they said, what could we be doing more of to grow this ecosystem? We said, well, there's this thing called Black Tech Week. We think you should go. And so um, Rob decided to go with me and a group of my friends to Black Tech Week in Miami. And that is really what sparked the growth and um, the idea for even launching the accelerator. Um, because I think what he saw and what we saw was there was an opportunity here for us to do something amazing. So we attended the first Black Tech Week seven years ago. This will be the eighth iteration. Um, and really built our tribe around that. We continue to grow year after year. Four years ago, I actually met my, my husband there. Um, but Black Tech Week is a place where founders connect. Um, it's kind of like our homecoming. It's a place where we can share ideas, share network, um, help each other fundraise, find talent. Um, and so sat down with the founders, uh, Felicia Hatcher and Derek Pearson. Um, they moved on to do some amazing things, but I said, hey, if you're winding this down, because they're now working for Pharrell Williams and running something called the Center for Black Innovation, we would love to acquire it. This is our second acquisition. The first acquisition allowed us to triple our revenue. This one will allow us to do more than that. Um, and I just truly believe that Cincinnati is the right place to grow um, this, this conference. How can those of us in the audience help you help make this a success? Well, if I can say anything, like Cincinnati has stood up for um, Black Tech. As soon as we made the announcement, we have had a major influx of sponsorship requests. Um, and I can say that we are very, very close to our goal. Uh, many of the sponsors of Ready are sponsors of, of Black Tech Week. Um, we would love for you to invite your employees to attend. 
Um, we are, so just a little bit of an overview, we'll launch on Monday the 18th with an opening event, uh, NFT Art Gallery with the Symphony at Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra over at Music Hall. Each day we'll be at Music Hall and Memorial Hall. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll have some great um, fireside chats, panels, uh, panel discussions, workshops, venture capital office hours. Um, and so those will be some amazing things. We've got a few um, things under our hat. One I can share, Hannibal Burris is gonna come and do a comedy show at Taft Theater on Wednesday night. Um, and then on Friday, we're having a tech career fair. Um, and so we've already signed on Eli Lilly, Netflix, uh, Kroger Digital, and a few others. We'll make some more announcements around that, but I know that hiring um, is difficult for most. Um, and so we've partnered with Blackson Technology, which is uh, a group that has 60 chapters of junior and senior engineers uh, throughout, the, throughout the world. Um, they have a chapter of 700 people here in town. Blackson Technology is actually started in Cincinnati. It doesn't get a lot of shine, but it exists. Uh, bringing another company called Buddha that does placements for coding um, graduates. They've done almost 900 placements over the last 10 months. They're in our portfolio. So I would say if anything, connect us with your HR department if you're looking for great talent. We'll be doing that in person and then virtual. Um, but then also, there's a lot of entrepreneurship. So send your folks, be an ally. This isn't just for black people. Um, and so we'd love to see you during Black Tech Week. And so you can visit blacktechweek.com to buy tickets. I can't wait to have you back and talk about all the success in Halloween Point. Yes, and pay attention next week to uh, our announcement for our headline speaker. I'm excited. I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, just thank you for all that you do for the region. We really appreciate it and for being here with us today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.